Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell again. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a word that you've seen before. You saw it on the Star 360 test. Most of you had no clue what it was. And the term is reciprocal. All right. Just want to make sure we're pronouncing that correctly. It is reciprocal. All right. And a reciprocal is a number that when I multiply it times that number, let's just say I want to find the reciprocal of three. The reciprocal of three, that when I multiply it times three, my answer is one. Okay. And to come up with a reciprocal of a number, all I have to do for a whole number is to turn it into a fraction. All right. Turn it into a fraction. So I take three and I put it over one and I flip it. I turn it upside down. All right. And what that means is I take one and I put it over three. So one third is the reciprocal of three. All right. So to give you the example of this, if I were to multiply one third times three, I should get one. OK, so I change that into a fraction. I multiply one times three is three, three times one is three, three over three equals one. Now this, this is extremely important. Okay. For what we're about to talk about in the next couple of videos and that's dividing fractions. Okay. So the sooner you understand this, the better off you're going to be when it comes to dividing fractions, because you're using a reciprocal is important. It is so important in dividing fractions. Okay. So we're going to look at just a couple of examples on how to change or get the reciprocal of a number. All right. Let me see if I can erase this really, really quick, which as far as me doing anything really, really quick, isn't working, but all right. Reciprocals of a number. And this is super easy. All right. So reciprocal of five is one fifth. Okay. I just kind of showed you that with the three. All right, so to make this work, I just have to turn the, the five into a fraction by putting it over one. Any whole number to turn it into a fraction, you just put it over one, and then you flip it, turn it upside down. All right, let's look at another one. Uh, one third. The reciprocal of one third would be three over one, which you can also write as just three. So it's kind of the opposite of this, this top one here, okay? So to take a fraction with one as your numerator, to turn it into a reciprocal, it just basically becomes the whole number of the, of the denominator. All right. Don't let that confuse you. All right. Next example, two fifths, two fifths. The reciprocal of two fifths is five over two. Okay. I'm just, I'm just turning it over. I'm taking the, the denominator, making it the numerator, taking the numerator, making it the no denominator. If I were to actually multiply these two together, I would say two over five times five over two, two times five is 10, five times two is 10, 10 over 10 equals one. So I hope you see how that works. All right, let's look at one more mixed number one and three eighths. How do I find the reciprocal of one and three eighths? I don't just take that three eighths and flip it. I have to turn it into an improper fraction. Okay. We learned how to do an improper fraction in another video. All right. I have to multiply, kind of taking this, this clockwise motion, multiply the eight times the one and then add three. As a matter of fact, I think I've already done this exact fraction. Eight times one is eight plus three is 11. So it's 11 over and I maintain this eight. Okay. So the reciprocal of that would be eight over 11. All right. Eight times 11 is 88. 11 times eight is 88. 88 over 88 is still one. Okay. So that's the goal. That's the purpose of this. All right. And we're going to learn why here in a minute or not in a minute, but in another video. Okay.